Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up? It's your boy MB. Here to do another unboxing. I know some of you are amazed what y'all see on the table. This is the Image Dynamics IDQ12. This is a woofer you can get for me as well as a reseller, as a reseller. So I have a limited warranty on it. Uh, but this is a sound quality driver. I like what the title they put on the, on the box. This is the true balance of power and grace, harmony and chaos. Providing a balance of high output capacity combined with a unrivaled sound quality is our driving force behind building the best performance speakers in the world. Of course, everyone's going to say that. Uh, simply put, image dynamic speakers and subwoofers are the choice of the sound enthusiast. This is an SQ driver, okay? All performance is a result of a unique design philosophy and applied engineering science providing unique speakers and subwoofers that truly perform. Now, I graduated in high school in 1991, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe they started their company in 19... I believe it was 1992. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. I believe it was built for other people at the time. Then they started their own their own company building right here in America. Yeah, the Image Dynamics subs are, are entirely built here in the United States, USFA, similar to another company. But as where well as DD, which I am a dealer of, is into SQL and SPL. Image Dynamics is primarily concerned with SQ. Remember, you will always get a measure of SPL with any woofer you want because it's going to have the ability to move air. But Image Dynamics is strictly in SQ. So it'll be more like J-Audio, another brand like J-Audio. But all their products are made right here in the United States. There's going to be a link to the website in the description. I, As I say, I'm just a seller for them, I'm not an authorized dealer. I'm probably going to reach out to them and see if I can just to work with them directly instead of getting there as a reseller. But uh, let's, let's unbox it and then turn around and look at it. Let's get out the box. Comes with a little manual. We'll set that to the side for reference. A sticker, image dynamic sticker to put on the window. Uh, nice packaging. Take this around. Get it out. Get a good look at it. Mm. Now, I do like this about the Image Dynamic subs. And you remember I did the Image Dynamics 8 as well. They give you this membrane to put on the other side of the basket so you have a tight seal into the mounting of the woofer to the baffle. Get out the plastic here. I love the life to be the assistant. Now let's turn around for an up close look at all the features. Okay. Key features I want to put out. Number one, this is a total removal field assembly. So if you was to blow the coil for improper uses, you can easily replace it with no glue. I showed you how this was done on the IDQ8 version 4 video, and I'll put the link to that as well in the description. But once you take the, pop this gasket off, you can unscrew this whole assembly and take it completely out and put another one inside. I think, I'm not for sure, but I know they may have been the, the pioneers of that design. It's also used in other manufacturers today. It's in, it's in my beloved Solo X uh, design as well. Now, it is the high exposure design. Design The basket, this woofer has 14.5 millimeters of excursion. For a sound quality driver, that is respectable. That is a lot of excursion. Mind you, this sound quality drivers and subwoofers, you do not want to send no more than 500 watts. 
once you get past 500 watts, most sound quality enthusiasts tell you you're not in the sound quality anymore. You're more into the L part, so you're in the SQL crowd. And if you're going to use 500 watts for a sound quality driver, most times it's going to be a 12 or 15. So 14.5 millimeters of X-Max for a sound quality driver does give them the, the uh, they can't say it's a high exposure design. It has a parabolic santaprene surround, santaprene being rubber. So it would last very, very long. The reason why they use rubber on some most sound quality drivers uh, is, is durability, its ability to, to keep a shape in the last a long, long time. Uh, most sound quality drivers, as as some of you may not aware, use do not use the paper cone. Most of them are, are going over to the polycarbon polycarbonate cone. This has a polycarbonate and my, I can't I think I I can't say the words mica something uh, cone mets together. What I do think is interesting about this cone design is that you notice well, where's the dust cap? Well, the dust cap and the cone and the neck joint are all made into one. So it's all made into one, which further decreases the chance of distortion getting into the driver. It has a Nomex spider, progressive roll spider, and it's very soft. And the reason why it's very soft, because image dynamic subwoofers are known to play in very, very small enclosures for their size. If I'm not mistaken, a port enclosure for this woofer here, universal, will be 1.5 or 1.6. The biggest you want to put in is two cubes. And if you put it in two cubes, you're not going to be able to throw that power, that much power to it. It's rated 375 to 750 watts RMS. It has an American-made flat-wound voice core. I believe this one has, I mean, I'm not mistaken, uh, the voice core on this one is... Oh, I think it's two inches, if I'm not mistaken. Y35 motor structure and a da 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 it's like a voice core size. Yes, it's a two inch voice core. You can't see it here. Maybe if I turn at a, at a certain angle, you will be. But there is venting on the cone itself. There are holes on the cone on the cone itself. Let me see if I can get it up where y'all can see it. Get a little closer. Baby. There, there you go. There, you see those holes right right about here? Yeah, there are holes all along the base of the cone where at the triple joint where air is able to get inside the voice core. And and as as well as because it, it can be mounted right up against the uh the back of the baffle. So at that at the mounting depth on this woofer is on the 12 is six inches. The cooling is along the base of the basket. The core, the, 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 the holes on the cone itself. And it pretty much is like a forced air cooling. So as you as the woofer plays and goes back and forth, it's going to hit that back place. Cool air is going to be forced over it, hit the peg and force, and force the hot air out. But it does not have any rear venting. Uh, I think it's still a good sign because this woofer is not made to handle a substantial amount of power. This woofer is made to be accurate, accurate in its reproduction of the signal being sent to it. It has a 280-ounce motor structure. Uh, what else can I tell you about this woofer? A FS, a FS of 30 hertz, and I'm going to show you that when we free air test it. Uh, pick the P. X Max is 28, which is 14.5 both ways. And here's a very interesting feature as well. This woofer has a SPL rating of 87. So for the power given to it, it's going to be very, very efficient at getting loud. So you'd be surprised with a thousand watts on two of these, just how loud you would get. It has more, even though it's not a European based subwoofer, it has more of that mindset. You don't need a lot of power to get a given amount of output. With a sensitivity of 87 and this much cone area, this woofer will get amazingly loud for a given output. Amazingly loud for a given output. And it's going to sound great doing so. So next we're going to do, a, I like the terminals as well. The push terminals look like they will accept maybe 10 gauge wire, which is sufficient. 
is a dual voice coil sub dual voice coil subwoofer. There is a voice coil on the other side. The basket is stamped like it be a stamped steel basket. Flat wound aluminum voice coil that you I can see it. I can see on the inside. I also see vents along the former itself. So you got vents on the top and vents on the on the underneath the triple joint, right above the flat wound aluminum wire, which is which is very, very nice. Very, very nice. I mean, this is a nice job. Those of you who have heard image dynamic sound will be quite impressed. I don't think I ever, yeah, I think I did do a video of the IDQ8 uh, inside a box, inside a box. And some of you say, how loud did it get? You got two different camps. You have the SQL camp, SQL, SPL, and then you have SQ. So when you listen to image dynamic subwoofer, it's not about how loud did it get. It's how accurate is the reproduction of the music. Next, we're going to do a free air test so you can see it move. And then this is for a customer, so I'm not going to put this and mount it inside the box. I'm letting him have the, the privilege of taking the box virginity <laughs> that I built for him. But I will let you see it move on the amount of power. You can get these from me as well. The number is 404-694-4818. This is for the SQ crowd that watches my channel. As I say, I'm a reseller, not a distributor for them. I'm a reseller. If it's hard for you to find them, you can get them through me, all sizes, even the, even the IDQ Max and the shallow drivers as well. I'll try to put more on the channel as customers buy them. Peace on, my friends. Bass on. And as always, please listen responsibly.